Marius Payton is live in Waverly right now. Uh, Marius, you've been back and forth there. What would you say the mood is tonight? Well, Lauren, the shock is over and the recovery process has started. But what's still hard, and this is very hard for a lot of people that have been out here, is to see this. This is someone's life. This is something that someone has worked hard for. This is all of their memories piled up out in the front yard as garbage. Now, we know the National Guard is going to come by uh, sometime and pick all of this stuff and take it to the landfill. But that's the hard thing right now is that everything that they've worked for is now garbage out in front of their houses. But that is how that recovery process begins. Now, there's some big news from Waverly that we need to tell you about tonight. It's, it's why the sheriff believes that so many people died from these floods. Now, all week, News 4 Investigates has been reporting that two sections of land under the CSX Railway collapsed, sending floodwaters surging into town. Now, that sheriff asked our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, to come back to Waverly today to show what he believes caught so many people off guard. Well, what did you think when you were driving here? Why is there water here now? From the back of the sheriff's pickup, you're able to see from the ground what News 4 Investigates has been showing you all week from above. It's why the sheriff believes so many people died. This is what bothers me. Did these people die because of that rush of water or was it the gradual rise? There was no gradual rise to this. Up in one of these flood areas, it went from bone dry to waist deep water in somewhere probably less than 15 minutes. Even seven days after the flood, CSX continues repairs to the rock basin that elevates the railroad high above Highway 70. As we first showed you from Drone 4, on the day of the flood, Trace Creek was swollen with 17 inches of rain, held back only by the railroad, acting as a kind of levee until it broke. Look, in two sections, water rushed through, leaving only the railroad itself standing and it just rose so quickly. Heading directly oh, no, for Felicia no. Wilcox's home. Because I've been white water rafting, it reminded me of that. It was blown out up here as well. After hearing so many flood victims were caught by surprise, the sheriff's office examined both satellite maps and the terrain where the surge rushed through. This is not just a backflow of water that's caused this right here. That that had to be some force and some power. Now that the source has been identified, the question is, what's going to protect neighbors like the Wilcoxes in the future? I mean, we there was no really time to think anything except we got to get out of here. Jeremy Finley, News 4 Investigates.